Today is an AMA, an Ask Me Anything event with Genso Kishi, and the event is called Genso Meta. It's a Gachiverse event where you can go into the Gachiverse while we're listening to the AMA and asking them questions about their upcoming game. I'm starting out with some Alchemica already. Let's take a look at this uh, site as like a first look. This is so cute. I love the 3D characters. Oh, this reminds me of when I was little and I would play the MMOs all the time. I'm definitely gonna need to try out this game, guys. I love how the site is set up with the text moving like that as we scroll. Anyone can start the game for free. You can get rare items from the dungeons, of course, of course. That's what I would expect from a game like this. <laughs> Definitely be a magic user or a mage of some kind. Oh, or a healer. I love playing the healer. Let's see, we've got, I believe, three team leaders from the project. Captain, maybe you can kick it off and introduce yourself and your teammates. Hi, this is Captain, also AKA the Ricky here. You can see I'm a old goat again here. <laughs> uh, I'm the advisor of the Genso Meta. Here we are, we have uh, Mexico as our CEO and Matt. And I'm uh, Max, the CEO of Genso Kishi Project. Well, you guys can just call us Genso, that will be way more easy to, to call us. And uh, let me introduce Matt, our Global Account Manager, Matt. Hi Matt, nice to meet you as well. Are, did I hear that right? Global Account Manager? Yes, he's a Global Account Manager. We're all big, big fans of Avi Gochi. I would love if we just jumped right into it from the start. What's so special about Genso? Genso? is based on a game that has a 14-year history called Elemental Knights. To be humble, we won numerous awards. We were the most downloaded game uh, in 2012 in Taiwan, in Japan. A lot of community members have been actively playing our game through Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, both Android and iOS. Our game is a 3D MMORPG. It's a metaverse before many metaverses popped around in the blockchain. Ooh, it shows what a gachi will look like in the metaverse. Oh, it's so cute, guys. I love it. <laughs> They're like wearing a gachi costume with their little legs underneath. <laughs> That's so funny. I'll definitely want that as an outfit. I love it. I'm glad that you guys think it's cute. We absolutely think it's cute. Where are we? Maybe we zoom out into a bit of context here of the roadmap. Where are we now in the, in the journey? <gasps> Yo, what is going on? Yeah, so right now, um, we are very excited to announce we are officially launching in August, end of August, but our first alpha version is coming out end of this month. And we're very excited to um, invite I have to be there. Uh, Gochi fans uh, to check this out. We have uh, about 100 engineers working on uh, the GameFi integration right now, so everything is very much on schedule. What's the play to earn kind of aspect on this? Have there been public announcements around the kind of PDE aspect of the game? Absolutely. Maxi, do you want to point out the play and earn? I guess that's how people like to say it these days, aspect. They say that these uh, days? Uh, there are two tokens for Genso. One is a governance token MV and uh, another is the in-game token which is called RON. In the RPG, of course, you team up with other online partners, your friends, and would be a four player in your team. You can go out just adventure, put the dungeon, beat the monster, beat the dragons, and they drop your items. So that would be the NFT so you can get it. And then you could sell the NFT uh, to an NPC, non-player character in the game to get a mini ROM. Or you can just swap, bridge out uh, to OpenSea or whatever platform you, you would like. So that would be the basic play and earn. You know, when you think about it, I think I like play and earn better because it's not that you're playing the game to make money, you're playing the game having fun and making money as well. Money is obviously important, but I love games. Maxi, what's your thoughts on Polygon? Japanese, they actually love Ethereum. I just seriously think, thinking about launching on the Ethereum, but you know, last year the gas fee is so incredible high. So at that time, Polygon was really a nice choice, and of course we are inspired by Avagoch. Myself, I, I, I own Goch and I play Avagoch last year. For the future long-run potential, I believe in Polygon. I, I believe, believe in Polygon Polyga too, my guy. I see some questions coming in about the next drop. I think it's on a schedule where it's like every 10 minutes, 
we're, we are a game from Asia, uh, East Asia specifically, and uh, we were very so proud to be working out. with a, a legend of Final Fantasy, Yoshitaka Amano, um, with uh, the NFT avatars uh, that are coming out. That's huge. What would you say is like the fun fact that most people don't know or don't realize about what you guys are building with Genso Meta? What are you most excited about and maybe at least understood? Well, thanks. Thanks for the great question. Um, <laughs> yes, uh, we we want a lot of users who are uh, fascinated with metaverses and these um, Japanese metaverses as well. I so you say I'm fascinated. Um, <laughs> what we think to stress more is that our game has been here and has had major, major partnerships with uh, super famous brands. And uh, for example, if you look up uh, the original game, we have a lot of IPs that you should know um, that we collaborated with. For example, uh, Hello Kitty. Fairy Tale is another famous manga. Like any metaverse should be, it's kind of a meeting place for the community, but it could be multiple communities overlapping. And I think that's what's intriguing about a true metaverse. You're not just in your own silo. You want to be able to dress up and be whoever you want to be. E version. I love the Chibi Kawaii's. We had a lot of users come in, express their love. They uh, had a lot of cosplay contests, and some players got married inside our Genso Kishi Metaverse. I love MMOs with marriage features. I don't know if Genso has marriage features exactly yet, but I remember when I was 14, I had this boyfriend for two years. He was an online boyfriend. We had never met in real life, but we were able to get married in game. It was so fun and so cute. It warms my heart to see other young people getting married in MMOs these days. Let us know if there's any tricks or, or things to know about the onboarding process. Great, um, so I'm gonna uh, go ahead and make a Google Forms. Anyone um, who's interested can um, enter their uh, address so that we can um, drop the uh, alpha tickets to them. Did I hear right that in the fall, when the game kind of fully launches, is that the target date? August. We are going to allow users to make their own cosplay NFTs and also their own lands it is exciting for us to um, have a 3D GoTubers inside, um, again, so Kishi as well. You need to stake a certain amount of our government's tokens to unlock that privilege to uh, design your own map and design your own cosplay NFTs. This function is gonna come after the official release. It is an already existing function. But we still need more work to get this done more smoothly on the blockchain. This is gonna take a bit more until Q4 of this year. Uh, sounds very, very interesting. I hope either our individual uh, Gachi gang mm. members or Avagachi Dao or Pixelcraft, I'm sure there'll be many opportunities for us all to, uh, to kind of bring over parts of the Gachiverse with some map building. That sounds very, very exciting. We'd love to create some content. I see Musashi asking, how do we get in on the alpha testing? I, I'm not real clear if that, it's not an open one, but you did mention maybe there's a list and if people are interested, they could, they could uh, contact you or, or sign up. We had uh, the first NFT auction uh, about two months ago. That was the really legendary one. If we, we say in I've got style, that will be a godlike, godlike equipment. 3K USDT uh, for one NFT. In total, we got a total bidding around 2 million US dollars at the first NFT auction. That was really amazing. Many NFT are coming, so we are just right now at the alpha stage. You're staking every token in our official staking site. Uh, you will receive the monthly secret drop. How different will the world be and the game be from what's already out there in terms of this Web3 integration? Is it like completely new world and, and story mode and everything or is it 
all like this metaverse that's influenced by the games that are out there today that people should go and check out and try. This game is the sequel of uh, the original Elemental Knights game. Uh, the main functions inside the game are similar. The entire map has been revamped. The graphics have been revamped entirely. You're going to need to use the in-game tokens to upgrade your uh, HP and MP and so on. Great. So yeah, it is a sequel in the truest sense. All consoles, so Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4, uh, all the tablets, all the smartphones, they all access the same metaverse. Can, can I just pop in about the info about the form? Because oh. I think we're going to about to wrap up. Yes, yep. form, yep. form. That'd be perfect. If you are interested in joining their alpha testing that is happening very soon, we're talking weeks away. Yeah, thanks everybody for joining. I'm super excited to take along for the journey and, and see your progress and, and participate with you. We look forward to seeing uh, what, what's to come with, with Genso Meta. It's going to be huge. Thank you so much for having us. Hey, thank you so much. We had so much fun um, coming here. Thank you so much. Thanks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Genso Gachi, I love it. There's, that's going to be a thing. Genso Gachi. It's got a nice ring to it. Uh, Someone in the chat got 21 alpha. I don't know how they did that. Genso Kishi. It's such an adorable game and I love that we had this event and I am introduced to this. I've been looking for a game like that in DeFi to be honest, like a cute little anime avatar game uh, with cute anime NFTs. I really hope I get into the alpha testing for you guys. I'll definitely make a video of it. If there were content creator passes, they probably would make those known. Or would they? <laughs> So all together, I made 74 cents from this event. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe if you enjoy my content. I recently reached 400 subscribers, so thank you guys so much. In like my last video or the one before that, I had only just reached three, 350 subscribers, so this is huge. And I know that we've come on some difficult times lately in the crypto space. Stay strong, friends. I'm basically kind of like in denial about it. <laughs> if you ask me about it, I'll be like, haha, what losses? <laughs> But now is the perfect time to be playing these types of games and accumulating that crypto because you'll never know what they'll be worth when the market recovers.